This is the Bay Sports 4.1 metre sit on top touring kayak. Uh, it is a fantastic new addition to the range. This style of kayak is designed for those who are sold on a sit on top type of kayak, but want something which is going to paddle a lot faster and have more paddling speed associated with a lightweight touring kayak. The bow itself has a V-shaped design which is made to slice through any chop, swell, uh, and it's also got a displaced uh, front section which means any water that comes through um, from the front is basically pushed out the side to limit the amount of water coming over the top. So this is a very capable kayak for um, rougher conditions. Um, fantastic for those who are wanting to sit on top kayak but want to go out on a bit more of an adventure, uh, rougher waters, um, take it in harbours, coastal kayaking, etc. The 4.1 metre length matched with the 74 centimetre width makes it quite a stable kayak, especially if you're going to be taking this out in open waters where you've got more swell, uh, chop, and you want to ride some small waves. Up the front of the kayak, you can see the bow has a very elongated uh, nose. It's got that beautiful V-shaped bow, um, and underneath you can see it. It's designed to propel the water up and then push it outside so you basically don't get too much water up over the bow and into the cockpit. So this one here really blows the competition out of the water when it comes to speed and maneuverability. Starting at the very front, you've got a nice grab handle with a plastic cover over it. And as you work down, you've got deck rigging uh, with these little reflective uh, pieces which runs the whole length of the kayak from the bow to the stern. These are great, especially in sunrise and sunset um, or out on the ocean um, where there's you know low light, boats can um, see you. So their lights, when they shine on these reflective parts, will allow them to see you better than if you were not to have these on your kayak. You've got a little bungee cord here, which is good if you want to store your paddle. Uh, or you can get a paddle leash saver, uh, optional extra, uh, which allows you to put your paddle outside of the kayak. Otherwise, you can stash your kayak paddle underneath here to keep it secure whilst you use your hands. At the front here, we also have a 25 centimeter rubber hatch. Inside here is open storage. So you could fit a two person tent easily in here. Uh, and as you see underneath, you've actually got no bulkhead. So all the storage underneath there uh, goes all in through the deck. You could squish a few things down the back there, uh, like a sleeping mattress, some smaller kayaking accessories or camping gear. Uh, and with this hatch on the top, it's got a little string to keep it from disappearing. Uh, so that one there is pretty watertight. Just make sure that you put the whole hatch on around the seal. Moving down into the cockpit area, you have the drain plug here. This is used for draining any excess water that gets into the hull out, as well as on a hot day, uh, the air inside will expand. So if you're gonna leave your kayak out in the sun, you wanna just loosen that up to let any air escape out of there as to not deform the shape of the hull. You can see where your feet go here. This is around 64 centimeters width uh, and moving towards the seat, just behind the seat is 74 centimeters. In terms of foot positions, you've got four positions you can place your feet depending on the different heights. Obviously, you can adjust your knees uh, to find the most comfortable position for you. So four different molded in positions there. It will fit a range of paddlers uh, as short as five foot all the way up to six foot six. On the sides, there are track rails. So there's two 35 centimeter track rails installed on either side. This is allowing you to put on many attachments uh, from fishing rod holders to GoPros to phone holders. So this is a universal track rail uh, for mounting all the different types of fittings to make your adventure more enjoyable. Drink bottle holder is located just in front of a eight inch twist lock storage hatch. Inside here is a really high quality uh, nylon inner bag. Uh, it is removable. Um, however, if you want to chuck your keys, your phone, things like that in here, um, it does have a little rubber seal, which is designed to, again, keep it pretty watertight. However, for any electronics, we always recommend putting that into a waterproof dry case. Built into either side are these grooved grab handles. They've got the nice molds for your fingers, so you get a nice grip. And this kayak, weighing in at just 23.9 kilos, it's actually quite manageable for most to carry just with one hand. 
Uh, so you can see also for hire and rental businesses who are wanting to hire these kayaks out, these are a great design because there's no parts that can break off. It's a really sturdy design. You'll never have to worry about replacing handles ever again. Moving down to the seating area, uh, it's got the molded in sort of bucket or form fitting type seat, uh, which also comes with our deluxe comfort seat, which is a pretty thick foam padded seat. So the actual grooved mold with the addition of the padded seat uh, makes it one very comfortable kayak to sit in and paddle. As you can see, it's got four straps and it goes pretty high up, uh, almost to shoulder blades, depending on your height. So the shape and design of the actual cockpit seating area uh, provides for much needed um, support and comfort wise throughout the water. In terms of drainage on the kayak, it comes with four scupper holes with scupper plugs included. So if you get water over the back, you can drain it out and reach from where your seated position is. You can reach around with your arm, pull out the scupper plug and water will drain out whilst you're kayaking. In the main cockpit, you've got the other two here. As you can see, it's got these deep grooved drainage lines. Uh, these run quite deep, a good five, six centimetres deep. And they go all the way up underneath the kayak seat. So if you do get water in the seating area, you can see that the grooves actually start right underneath where you're sitting. So if you do get water in this area, the water will just drain through here and back out whilst you're on the water. Pop that out. The rear storage area on the Discovery 4.1 meter kayak is quite generous. This one's designed to be able to take a, a day's worth of gear out on your paddle adventures. You can actually put a fair amount of gear in here from a, an esky to having a dry bag at the back. And with this bungee cord, you can simply remove these and use the bungee cord once you've stashed up all your gear to secure it over the top so nothing goes overboard. And as at the bow, towards the stern, you've got deck rigging again, which runs all the way to the stern, where you've got a grab handle for carrying. And as mentioned, it's got this reflective uh, speckles inside the rope, so that's for your safety. Looking on the underside of the kayak, you can see it's quite a flat midsection hull. This is what gives it its great primary stability. Uh, it runs a good two thirds of the kayak down the middle, so again, giving you excellent primary stability. However, at the bow and stern, you have a little bit of tapering, which gives you the ability to maneuver better. Looking at the underside of the kayak, you can appreciate the premium high density polyethylene plastics that are used to make this kayak. It has a really nice sheen, more associated with a composite kayak. And this beautiful finish means it has low friction. So you're gonna have maximum glide on the water. Whilst the Discovery is only 23.9 kilos and manageable by most, carrying it more than say 50 to 100 meters, you'll really want to still consider getting a kayak trolley. It just allows the kayak trolley to take all the weight of the kayak. So you can put it in underneath where these scupper holes are, wheel it to the water, and then when you go out paddling, you just flip the kayak trolley upside down like so, put the cone support straight back into the scupper holes, just like that and then you can store your kayak trolley neatly out of the way just behind your seat leaving plenty of storage room for other gear.